What's going on, Karu Builders? This is Dave Pereira bringing you the all new Jeep Cherokee. It's all done and ready to go. So, <coughs> behind me is my new project, Sneak Peek. Uh, we finally got everything done. Everything is done. <sighs> it's, it's been a battle. Uh, the reason being, I want to get it done this fr Sunday. One of, there was two reasons, because I need to do the video. But the main reason was I can take pictures, because as you guys know, I work 8 to 5. So I do not have that daylight. I prefer to take pictures around 2 or 3, depending upon where the we have the sunset, we have the shadows and all that. So I try to get the maximum uh, quality of pictures. So whoever wants to look at it can see like, hey, there's nothing wrong with the car and everything. So that's one of the main reasons. So uh, there was two, three parts were missing in this car. One was the AC connector, the, uh, the temperature gauge and the battery temperature sensor. So I got two of them because I would all drove all the way to Winfield, which is one hour away from my place and finally got one piece. Uh, had to battle with all these mosquitoes, turtles, because it was a swamp. I mean, it was a great place, but it was all muddy and everything. There's tons of tons of mosquitoes and uh, it was raining and all that. But anyway, we finally got the AC wire. Then um, I have to go to the dealership to get the temperature sensor. Then for the battery sensor, I ordered online because it's close to around like 120, 30 bucks. So I got a deal and it does not affect the driving or the picture. So I just, yeah, I'll wait. So anyhow, this is the final product. As you can see, it is totally different than the what you guys see. So let's walk around and I can show it to you. And that's my trucky. If you guys like to do a, if you guys want me to do a video on it, I can. It's my 2007 lifted avalanche. And that's my little baby. Alright, so let's walk around it. <coughs> So, let's get into the details. Ah, what can I say? Let's open it up. Voila. All clean. I do not have the carpets yet. I did clean it up. I think, okay, there's still, if you can guess, can see a little bit of stains and everything. I need to clean it up thoroughly. This is, I want to get it done. I'm going to do the interior pictures later, but... I want to get the exterior done um, so let's talk about this like I said earlier I really really love this wood tree I mean look at the quality of this material it's pretty good if you guys are looking for a market for a SUV this is a really good candidate and let's go to the other side and I got these so Every time when there's rain or dark, I can do videos without a problem. And this is the passenger side. I mean, only issue I have with this is this small damn screen because I wish it came with the big one, which it does. Only thing I look into it, I can switch uh, switch it to a bigger screen if I have the auto mode but this one does not i can switch it because the salvage jet does have one and if i switch it i have to buy a program and all that and you know down the road it will be a problem to the customer so do not want that to happen that's the inside of it and check this out this is pretty cool look at this i love this kind of stuff i mean 
actually this is one of the reason i won't have a jeep now because or a dodge or because the challenges doesn't come with it like suv kind of a deal because you can keep your stuff like hey put your gun put your jewelry let's stay inside and i did tint the tail lights my backup camera voila it does not have the spare wheel yet and that's the air compressor look at that I have that one too so it's it's kind of a neat combination i mean who would have thought Basically, if you have a bad tire, you can inflate your tire by yourself. So it's a true Jeep, tell you that. And it's inside plenty, plenty room. I mean, not if you're like seven foot or something, but yeah, six foot or something. And you have the 150 AC volts, 150 AC. You want to charge your laptop? Here we go. The rear passenger have their own air conditioning, which is pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna need to clean this inside later. And it does. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay. So. So only thing it does not work right now is this guy. This is the auto on start, the automatic on off for the engine because that battery sensor saying it's low uh, start stop unavailable service the stop stop system. My guy said it's most likely because of the it goes to the battery saving mode which basically car doesn't want to kill itself because it won't have enough power to restart itself so which is a pretty good deal and look at that of course have the backup camera voila and I mean pretty good quality interior Look at this, that's a little bit of stains. I didn't and it's been dealer uh, serviced. So, let's go check the engine now. Let's see how clean it is. All right. So, this is the money point. I did tint the signal lamps. I did tint the headlamps because they came all white. And look at that. They are halo. Voila. So, I did tint them, give them that kind of the extra awesome look and that's the decal and I this is the chrome the blacked grill that I talked to you about and also I painted this Jeep the legendary Jeep black so I mean I think it came pretty awesome and let's check the engine and this comes with the V6 3.2 engine, which I think is pretty good. And that's the engine. All clean, like a brand new car. I clean everything up. Like I said before, do not use a pressurized water. For this, I didn't even have to clean it because only thing I did clean it is this plastic cover. I took it off, wipe it down, wash it. I mean, it was raining, so I literally put it out of the rain because I put the solution just 
I was like, hey, it's raining yesterday. Let it wash it out. Then I brought it back, wipe it down really good and put it back. I mean, because it literally doesn't hurt anything because underneath is the soft rubber. It's not a sponge or anything. And see, we do it. And look at this. It has two hood hinges. I mean, hood latches, this one and that one. And like I said, I try to do everything to perfection. This is the cover, inner cover and all the seals and everything's are there so it's, it's a complete car there's no we try not to cut any corners but try to do everything perfect so what i did for this car like you guys saw it is a latitude basically it's a regular eh, plain jane car but we put the decal bought the blackout grills and also tint the headlights, uh, the signal lamps, and also make the wheels black. I mean, after I did all that, this SUV looks like so different. I wish I could take this off and uh, this Cherokee lettering, make it black too, but kind of too much work and Look at this tail lights. It came pretty good. I wish I could. I wanted to make that black. If I want to keep it, I would do that to my one, but... So, hopefully I can sell this car really fast. Because I have a big amount of money tied into it. And I do want to finish this project. My garage is a little bit of clean, little bit clean, not that good, but a little bit. So, tell me what you guys think. Uh, everything is done. See, this is one of the other things I don't like about it, is this old key. Should have the other newer key version and have the push button start. So it would be pretty awesome if you do that, but still. This Jeep looks sick. What do you guys think? So anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. And if you guys like these videos, put a little thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more, subscribe, please. Uh, I know I'm just started. I'm getting some views, but you know, it's all the beginning is always the hardest anyway. So. This is Dave Pereira. Let me know what you guys think and we will see you next week with the other build. Remember that, the Honda HRV. So 2016 is already almost getting done. So hopefully as soon as I sell this, I'll have that ready to go. All right, this is Dave Pereira signing up. Thank you.